Hey everybody, welcome back to Universe Jarvis. It's Saturday, May the 9th. Yeah, it's the 9th because tomorrow is the 10th, which is Mother's Day. So those of you who didn't get your moms anything, shame on you. You need to figure that out. You need to go get a gift immediately. Just saying. Kidding, but not really. Anyhow, so I'm back. I have been doing a bunch of videos and I said that I would come back on when some more things actually got delivered. Some things got delivered today, so I'm gonna go over two of them. The main feature, I guess, on this video is actually going to be something related to what the previous videos were, so dealing with Apple products yet again. So, I was online, I was kind of looking around at different things. I have the AirPods 2, I think that's what they're called, the ones with the wireless charging case. So I got the newer version of the original ones because there are only two versions of those. Well, I guess now technically three because they're the AirPods Pro, the noise cancellation ones that are short and squat. So I was just kind of, you know, shitting around online and I kind of came across something that looked just like the AirPods Pro. I was like, eh, these are going to be crap. I don't know about that. And so I ordered them anyway because you get two pairs of these things for a hundred bucks, which isn't bad at all considering they supposedly retail for $140, which to me seems a little odd to be a knockoff of the AirPods Pro, but hey... If they work, they work. You know, is what it is. You can save at least a hundred bucks on that if you're not really cared about get, care about getting the Apple premium product. Yeah. So they arrived today, both pairs, and this is the box that they're in. So decent sized box. That you know, on the box they look just like the, the pros, and that's why when I saw them online, I was like, oh, there's no way. You know, that's the back side. I actually already opened these, so this isn't an unboxing. I've kind of played around with them a little bit and the box right there that's where they're down and they actually come with a lightning cable which i kind of was like huh so it's lightning on one end and it's a usb-c on the other which is very interesting in itself they have some other you know ear tips if for you to adjust for your ear Let me get this back down in there Relax. there it goes and it has some instruction manual up here in the top how to pair it, all that good stuff. So, let's get to the meat and the potatoes of this video. Show you what they look like. So, <laughs> they come in a case that looks just like the wireless charging case for all the AirPods, specifically the AirPods Pro. So that was pretty impressive. Even have the feel. I can kind of tell by looking at it that it's not at the same quality as Apple stuff would be. You know, I can kind of see some edges that don't look like they're lined up evenly. They're not necessarily smooth. You know, the hinge isn't the same quality. This kind of wiggles back and forth a little bit. But you have that pairing button. You've got the lightning port on the bottom. And there they are. So, I was kind of dumbfounded when I actually took these out. I was like, there's no way. They, just a quick glance, they look just like the AirPods Pro, which is super impressive for a knockoff. Even when you look at this, it looks like it's got the sensor right there, sensor on the inside, sensor down there, all that stuff. Now, one thing that you will notice that's slightly different, if I can get in close here, is it's kind of got an indention right there, and I don't think the real ones have that. I tried them on the Apple Store, and I don't remember there being an indention, because this is where you're supposed to have the touch controls for them and usually there's like the microphone and all that stuff down here and that silver piece goes all the way around you notice on this it stops it's probably hard to see it's probably some glare but it doesn't go all the way around the bottom and that's flat it doesn't have an opening like the apple ones do so it's just the flat plastic and if you look at this on the side a little bit closer that is almost seems like a sticker to me to be honest I don't really think it serves a purpose. It might, but I think it's more just for looks to convince you that these are real. Now, I've tried them out, and I'm really impressed by how they sound. They actually sound really good. They seal off your ears, so there is some noise cancellation, and we'll get to it in a moment. I'll show you some stuff in the phone itself. Even when you go to pair them, you open this case up, and it pulls up all the stuff like you were pairing an Apple product. The little, you know, animation at the bottom pops up. So, I, like I said, I'm kind of a little bit speechless. Like I said, great sound. Now, where I will kind of critique them, 
and this is just me being nitpicky and part of the reason if I'm gonna spend $179, 180 $250 on a pair of premium earbuds I want everything to work properly now mind you these roughly came out to 60 bucks for these so you get what you don't pay for in most cases and that's the case with this the touch controls I think are awful I you know they they will do the ear detection which worked decent it, it kind of had some lag so not up to standard with an, a real Apple product so you know that's just kind of gets a little annoying but it will pause the music and there's kind of this you know little bit of a glitchy transition for it to start your music back and I kind of ran into it pausing my music and not keeping a continual connection so I don't know if it's just kind of a bug that's got to work out but that could over time get to be a little bit annoying you know just for me coming from an Apple product using an Apple product loving my Apple products that could become a nuisance after a while or you would get used to it either way but like I said the touch controls are terrible I set I think the left one to control Siri which you can't say hey Siri like you would with the real ones and it listen but it does this kind of tone thing and it's pause you're supposed to be able to see the Siri I didn't really mess with it but I triggered it and I think you're supposed to squeeze in on them to, to, to trigger whatever function you assign to the earbud I tried to pause on this one I couldn't get it to work I kind of gave up I felt like I was an idiot because I'm doing this to my ear the whole time it was really dumb but you know that's probably my only gripe if that worked a little bit better then they would probably be phenomenal even if it's not really a touch it's more of a squeeze and applying pressure type thing but other than that if you just want something that sounds really good I would recommend them they sound really good considering how much they cost and I would hope they would have a decent sound quality because I mean sixty dollars isn't nothing so you do expect some sort of decent sound but they I was pretty impressed by them I don't know if all that noise cancellation and transparency mode if all that stuff really works honestly I haven't used the real AirPods Pro so can't really speak on that but they did sound decent I'm gonna go into the, my settings on my phone here and I'm gonna show you or try to the glare may make it a little bit difficult oh, I probably got to have them open I can't see the settings let's see so this is what I was talking about and you won't be able to see what's on the screen but it pops up it shows me how much battery life they have which is really neat maybe if I get back a little bit oh you guys aren't gonna be able to see because like you can kind of see it a little bit over there but you know it's got shows me how much battery they have how much the case has which is really nice ah and this is what I was after right here so I'll try to come in on this and you can kind of see these a little bit it's got noise cancellation on there off transparency mode you can I guess rename them if you want to I can click here to the left it can do, do noise control Siri right just noise control it doesn't have a answer and all that stuff which I think is kinda weird but like I said they're not authentic so that's probably why this looks a little weird and it just went away but you can see I'm pretty impressed honestly that they are that close and they do that much stuff with the phone I was not expecting all that and out of all of the off-brand things that I've gotten this is really really close and like I said some people unless you're really picking you're familiar with the products you probably would not know that this is not an authentic Apple product unless you were kind of in the loop because like even the case has a little light out there I mean that's that's crazy so that just goes to show you not knocking Apple love Apple love everything about it but it just kind of goes to show you that we pay so much for their products and at the end of the day that stuff doesn't really cost that much we're paying for the brand which has its pros and cons so kind of is what it is I guess just depends on what you want I was gonna do a comparison to my my um my regular AirPods but I don't really think I need to do one because most of you will be familiar with with these if you're watching this video and if not just let me know I can do a video and kind of talk about these because these are life and you see I've got it in a kind of nice rugged case with my tile on there because it freaks me out they're kind of small and I, sometimes I have a tendency to lay this around I don't know where it is but I can find it with my tile I'm finding that but the tile is an audible sound so I can hear it all that good stuff so that's those like I said 60 bucks I'll put the link below so you can go check it out if you want to if you want a pair I mean if you just want something to kind of you know mess around with maybe a, an introduction to getting a real pair and spending 
the, the premium price on, I would recommend these. Because if you lose them, yeah, $60 is a good bit of money. But if you lose these, it's not like losing twice that much. So I would recommend trying to get, getting a pair just to try it out. But I mean, I'll have them probably for a spare. I'm ultimately going to end up getting AirPods Pros. I'm just going to wait until the newer phone comes out later this year, probably in September. So I'll just have what I have until then. So the second thing, and then this video is going to be over with. I, I don't know. I'm getting to a point where I feel like I'm shopping way too much. A lot of it's just because of COVID and being inside and seeing all these great deals and not wanting to miss out on these deals. It happens after all this is over, which that won't be over. For, it won't be over for a while, but I'm going to have to rein myself in because I'm doing way too much shopping and I've got to stop. So the other thing, oh, there's a box. I told you guys I was on a coach kick. So I got some more coach. This is the last thing that I ordered from Coach. I actually didn't think it was going to come until next week. The shipping on this stuff has been really weird. If you've been ordering stuff, you'll get a projected date. But in most cases, you're getting it really, really early. And this, I didn't think I was going to get until next week from what the shipping when I looked at it. But then it ended up coming today. So that's super. I like to get things early. So if you watched the video that I uploaded before this one, I showed you a few items. I got my mom a wallet. An accordion wallet. I got myself another accordion wallet, and uh, this is an interesting box with seal. And I also ordered a fanny pack, which is what this is, and it matches the uh, wallet that I have. Okay, there we go. This box is kind of freaking me out. It's kind of weird. So. Here we go. There it is, Coach. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm stupid. So, I like fanny packs. I kind of like bags in general. I've really been into Makabu. That's probably my favorite. I carry it most of the time. I went through a fanny pack phase last year, and I usually bring those out in the summer. This one, since it's a little, it's a problem. It's the most expensive one that I have. I'm gonna carry it a good bit, especially outside. You know, when I'm not at work, at work, I don't like to carry my backpack, my lunch bag, and then have this. I just kind of keep my wallet in my back, work backpack. But this I'll be carrying around town, slinging it when I'm going to the store, whatever. Not going to wait for a special occasion. I'm just going to fucking use it because why get something that costs this much money and not use now? I think this was around $300. I'd have to look and double check, but I think it was, was close to that. It was on sale for $89 because the Coach Outlet Online was doing a big sale, which I talked about in my previous video on Mother's Day. This thing seems huge. It seems a lot bigger than in the picture. So this is actually bigger than any fanny pack that I have. And a lot of it's the paper too. So they package their stuff up really well. Like look at all this paper and stuff they put in there. So they definitely want to protect it, which is great. And like I said, this was $2.98 is the retail price for it. And I got it for $89. Bucks. So it's beautiful it's really really nice i kind of like the two-tone thing they had just a normal one and it's the classic coated canvas like i said but you've got some kind of contrast here you've got the blue and you've got some orange on here you got this little front pouch and their leather is it's very stiff leather which is what you want from a space perspective on this thing take some tissue paper out that's where with some of their leather bags why I get a little because they look nice but I don't feel like you get a lot of room inside but I guess that's because it's real leather but this you've got that soft padding and there's even a zipper pocket back here but I can get some stuff in there I won't be able to carry a lot I'm hoping that my wallet will at least fit down in here it should but it'll be a little bit tight so it's probably a good thing for me I won't be able to pack as much crap as I normally carry around but I should be able to get a wallet in there and I won't necessarily wear it at my waist. I'll probably wear it going across, but it's nice. I'm kind of excited to use it. Looking forward to it. It's going to be my summer. See, this is this can be summer. This can be fall. It can be winter. So this is kind of an all around one for me. Not all the loud colors. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. I mean, honestly, the colors to me are probably more fall than anything else, but I don't care. I'll carry it year round just because of what it is. So, that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning into this video. I'll provide some links below in the comment section 
for the air was the air sounds max and if you want to check out my little fanny pack thing i'll put that up there as well thanks for tuning in as always guys do not forget forget to subscribe below i appreciate it i'm almost at 300 subscribers thank you so much i think i'm at 234 and i've got a long 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 way to go to hit a thousand so appreciate all the subscribes all the likes all the comments the open conversation help me get to 1000 so then i'll be able to stream live and do all those sorts of fun things that everybody else has been doing this forever has been doing so appreciate it like i said don't forget to subscribe and comment you guys are the best universe jarvis out until the next video Later.